Hey guys, this is Jordan from Beetleby. A question that I get a lot is how to set up a relaxing chamber. Since I sell a lot of insects that aren't spread yet, um, people tend to ask me how to do it once they get the insects. So I decided to teach you guys how to do it really quick. There's a lot of other videos on YouTube that you guys can check out of people doing it, but um, I thought I'd just make one myself so, um, so my customers had something to view. Alright, so the first thing you need is just a container. The size of the container doesn't really matter. I tend to use bigger containers though just because I'm usually spreading a lot of insects. And then the next thing you'll need is sponges. I like to fill the entire bottom with sponges so um, here I have four sponges going into my container. After I add the sponges the next thing I get is, this isn't really necessary, I just prefer to do it. I just take random lids that I have and just um, place them in the container. This is just to um, keep a flat surface for the insects to rest on rather than just on the sponges. And then um, more of a hard surface than the sponges. What you want to do when the sponges go in, I wasn't really able to show this on camera since I did it in the sink and I just wanted to record everything here, but um, you want to wet the sponges and leave them pretty wet when you put them in the container. I also use a spray bottle because I just keep it in my room so it's easier. And then the next thing you want to do is take some dry paper towels and just line the container with the dry paper towels. And then once I have the dry paper towels in there, um, I just take my spray bottle and just spray them down. Paper towels are just to keep um, extra moisture in there and have the moisture come in direct contact with the insects you're trying to relax. And then I like to just add another paper towel on top once I have my two paper towels in there. Um, this is going to vary from container to container depending on what size of container you have. and. Um, it's not really necessary to put more than just one layer, but I just prefer to put two just to keep more moisture because it leads to um, insects spreading faster, well, getting relaxed faster. So once I have those two layers in, I take mothballs and um, just pour them on top and then I just spread them into the corners that are created by the lids being in there. The reason for the mothballs is since the insects are in an airtight container, that has a lot of moisture in it, um, mold can grow easily, and the mothballs just kind of prevent the mold from growing. I don't really know of many other things that can be used to prevent mold in this condition, but um, one thing that I've heard of someone mention was pine salt, just adding pine salt in it, but I personally haven't tried that. So once I have the mothballs in, I grab the insects that I'm spreading and just place them in my container. It doesn't really have to be organized, they can just kind of go in wherever they fit. When I tend to have a lot of insects, sometimes I even have to just pile them on top of each other. And then, once I have my container filled with the insects that I'm relaxing, um, I just grab another paper towel and just drape it over top of them and tuck it into my corners. And then, um, you don't have to wet this paper towel either because it will just end up getting wet from all the moisture that's in the container. But I just like spraying this one down too just so um, there's direct moisture on top of them. Alright, so once you have the top paper towel on, you can put your lid on and then just store it somewhere. Make sure that the lid's airtight. You want to have an airtight container so that all the moisture stays in the container. The relaxing usually takes about three days. That's how long I would wait before trying to even spread them at all. Just because um, the moisture has to penetrate into the um, joints and stuff so that the legs are flexible. And if you try to um, if you try to manipulate the legs too soon, you could snap them off really easily. Um, the best time, of course, to spread them, if you can, is as soon as they die, just because they're extremely fresh then, and um, 
they just spread the best at that point. I'll kind of show you guys, these are insects that I've already been relaxed, and I'll just show you kind of the differences between the amount of time that you leave them for. This one has been in there for a pretty long time, and its legs are extremely flexible, and um, extremely relaxed, as are the mandibles, and um, these goliathus, um, they've only been in there for about two days or so, and um, the legs are getting there. This one takes a lot longer to relax just because of the size, so that kind of just shows the difference on how flexible things are depending on how long you leave them in, and um, that also depends on size too. Um, next, I'll show you guys a video on actually spreading the insects and uh, pinning them and putting them into the proper position that you want them in. Um, so just check back for the next video.